Hey everybody, CW here, Card Wolf, because I'm always on the hunt for great cards. Today is Monday, and I usually do some mail opening today, and I do have one I'm going to open here from an anonymous viewer who uh, emailed me about sending me these uh, cards, and I was delighted that uh, he thought of me, and so I'm going to get into that today. also have uh, a pack I thought I'd open because, uh, you know, just like to do uh, a little more on this episode. Just a few cards, a couple of cards in here, so uh, we'll open that pack as well. And of course, today in the United States is also Memorial Day, so I want to take a moment before I start this episode and make sure to give a very heartfelt thank you to the courageous men and women who have sacrificed for our country to preserve our democracy and to protect and keep safe all of us, both here in the U.S. and, and many people in many other countries across the world have benefited from their sacrifice, and they deserve very much our thoughts today and every day. So as we get started here, we'll, we'll get into this package first, I think, and then we'll open this pack. I picked this up uh, the other day at the store for five bucks. As you can see, it is last year's Heritage, a, I guess a value pack is what they call this. So we'll get into that in a moment. First, I'm very excited to see these cards. These are some vintage cards that... Uh, this person who wishes to remain anonymous very generously offered to send me, said they uh, picked these Orioles cards up as part of a, I think a mystery pack is what I think they said, some sort of a, a thing that they bought somewhere. I don't know if they got it at a card show or if they got it online, but some sort of a, a mystery pack and they ended up with these uh, vintage Orioles cards and they thought of me immediately, which is just so kind. I'm just uh, always touched when people are so thoughtful to to just, you know, do something like that. Oh, hey, I found these in a mystery pack, you know, and, and they think of me to send them to. That That is, I'm very grateful for that. Very, very grateful. And here they are. Uh, one, they're both Orioles and they're both quite old, which is uh, pretty awesome. I got these taped on here quite well. So if I, I might have to get Mr. Kershaw out to get through this tape, actually. Do that. In there. Let's see if I can do that. This one is a 1957 Willie Miranda, who was a very good shortstop for the Orioles back in the 50s. And you got to remember the Orioles, though there was a minor league Baltimore Orioles team for many years, and there was a Negro League Baltimore team as well. There, uh, there was not a major league Baltimore team until 1954. That was the first year the Orioles came in. And so, got a nice Jehosey herd here from then. And let's get this out of here. So I concentrate on the cards. Put Mr. Kershaw up there for now in case I need him again. Up oh, and <laughs> look at this. The uh, anonymous sender here also included uh, a very nice Cal Ripken Jr. card. That is awesome. This is a Leaf card from 1993 and these are beautiful cards and on the backs of these there are usually uh, some sort of scene from uh, the hometown there it is the Baltimore Harbor there and that is the USS Constitution which has been docked in the Baltimore Harbor for many years I've been aboard that ship several times and it's uh it's kind of like a floating museum I guess you could say it's a big tall clipper ship and uh, it's a beautiful piece of the uh, Baltimore Harbor place, big harbor area there. There's also a submarine in the Baltimore Harbor. I think it's called the, the Torsk, and uh, I've been on that as well, and that's that's very educational. I toured that uh, several times when I was in, I guess, grade school and high school. They took us down there, and so uh, if you ever go to Baltimore and you're interested in that kind of stuff, you can find all kinds of cool things in the Baltimore Harbor, as well as, of course, Fort McHenry, which is uh, where our national anthem was written. And uh, Fort McHenry is very beautiful, actually. If you get a chance to go down and see Fort McHenry, it's quite lovely, and it's really a nice place to go and very unique. All right, so this is... Uh, this is a, they, both of these... Uh, i put this one over here. I'll put that one back out, too. Both of these vintage cards are such wonderful treats to add to my collection. I mean, you really don't see... You know these cards just kind of float around out there. These are uh, these are real finds. I mean, I'm I'm delighted to get these. This is a uh, very very early uh, as it, as it says here, 1954 tops rookie card of Jehosey Hurd, and 1954 was the first year that 
the Orioles existed, so you're not going to see Orioles cards much older than this, that's for sure. So this is a very, very nice card to get. And then a 1957 Willie Miranda. I'll get the uh, team bag off of here as well. Willie Miranda was a very good shortstop for the Orioles, actually, for many years. Uh, Willie Miranda was uh, just, you know, I get, can't really see it because that sticker is there, so I'll go ahead and pull this out for you. And this is in great shape. I mean, you can see here there's you know no scuffing really on the surface of this corners are a little rounded but boy it's nicely centered what a beautiful card really nice to see this uh really uh just a great card i mean what a wonderful card to find as the uh, sender said he found it in a mystery pack so what a wonderful card too great great vintage cards and and another wonderful cal ripkin jr here very very thoughtful I want to thank the sender again who wishes to remain anonymous. I want to thank them very much for thinking of me and for sending those along. These are great additions to my collection. Some beautiful, beautiful, very old vintage cards. I had a project that I uh, worked on many years ago where I wanted to assemble the uh, original uh, starting lineup for the very first game that the uh, Major League Baseball Orioles played in 1954, and I did. I successfully did that, uh, but <laughs> it's... Uh, I don't know if I still even have those cards. It was a long, long time ago. I'm sure I must have them somewhere, but I haven't come across them for a while, so I may have to do that again and uh, recreate that lineup. That'd be a nice little project for me to work on. So once again, thanks to Sender. Thank you to the Sender for doing that. What, what a nice, nice couple of cards there. I'm thrilled about those and very, very thoughtful to send that Ripken along, too. It's a beautiful card. And uh, let's get into this pack. This is, uh, again, 2023 Heritage. You've seen me open a lot of 2024 Heritage, which recently came out. But this is, uh, and there's a box, a blaster box of it on the back wall now. This is uh, a great deal when I saw this five bucks for a nice uh, value pack of a product that I like. This pack also has the security tag in it, which supposedly some people say that as the security tag, you got something good in there. Now, I don't know why people say that. I don't think... I, I could be wrong about this, but I don't think Topps is organized enough to, you know, put the security tags in packs that have, like, you know, the mem cards or the autograph cards or anything. But that would certainly be nice if that's what we discover in here. So let's uh, pull that security tag card off. There's there's the tag. You can see that there. I'll put that back there. Let's get... Uh, into the cards. I don't see a mem card in here, but you never know what else we might find. J.J. Bladé rookie card starts things off here, and as you can see, these are in the 1974 Tops design for last year's Heritage. This year's Heritage is in the beautiful 1975 design. Very, very colorful 1975 design, but this is a nice clean design. I always liked these. I remember opening packs of these back in the day. Kevin Gaussman and a nice Orioles rookie card. How about that? Taryn Vavra. We've got Mackenzie Gore and uh, Lamont Wade, who uh, I think is one of the Giants' better players, actually. I don't think gets a lot of, you know, love around the league because there are a lot of big superstars. But I think as far as the Giants' players go, I actually really like Lamont Wade. I think he's a, he's a solid player. Deserves more playtime. Corey Seager, very good player for the Rangers there. And C.J. Abrams. Another Oriole. That's awesome. Austin Hayes. So two Orioles in this value pack of 20 cards. Pretty sweet. Trace Thompson from the Dodgers. I don't know why this keeps going out of focus. Get that back in so you can actually see the cards. And then a cool in-action shot of Bobby Witt Jr. on the Gold Cup card. That's pretty sweet. I don't actually remember seeing that card, so that's maybe one that I still need for my set of this. I'll have to check that. Pretty cool card there. Ahmed Rosario and Yon Duran. we got Cal Raleigh from Seattle and Wilmer Flores. And we get a nice uh, insert card here. This is a New Age Performers card, rookie card of Nolan Gorman, good young player for the Cardinals. So that's a nice pull out of this pack. Santiago Espanol from the Blue Jays there, and Michael Wacha. We got Shane Bieber from Cleveland, and Johnny Cueto, and Jake Berger from the White Sox finishes that pack off. So despite the uh, security tag here, we did not get, uh, we got a nice insert, I guess, of Nolan Gorman, but we did not get any kind of big hit out of there. So I, I think if if anyone was uh, thinking those security tags are somehow indicative of something, they don't appear to be. But uh, in any event, still a lot of fun to open that pack. And for five bucks, it's hard to beat that. You get 20 cards and several rookie cards in there. So nothing wrong with that. Happy to get that. Hope you guys are having a great 
Memorial Day here in the United States. And if you're elsewhere in the world, hope you're enjoying the start to your week, uh, enjoying your Monday. Happy to uh, be able to do this episode today. Didn't know if I, I would have time. My daughter is supposed to be taking a nap, but she is wide awake. And as you can, probably can't see it very well, but she is flailing around in her crib, just singing and doing stuff. Uh, she should be asleep, but she turned the light on and she is uh, goofing around in there. <laughs> I don't know. She's probably too excited for uh, knowing mom and dad are home and... Uh, her brother's outside playing, and she wishes she could be too, but uh, we'll get to that in a little bit. <laughs> I'll let her just wind at, down a little bit. Again, hope you guys are having a great holiday here in the U.S. and uh, observing Memorial Day as I am and thinking about those brave men and women who have fallen. I'll see you back here uh, hopefully tomorrow. I think probably tomorrow will be the last episode I'll be able to film before we leave. On our vacation, my son and I and his grandparents, uh, my wife's parents, are uh, going out on vacation to the East Coast and we'll be there for a couple of weeks. Still going to have some episodes go up during that time. I pre-recorded them so uh, you can look for those and uh, when I get back in mid-June, you can look for the uh, big giveaway for 900 subscribers. I will do that as soon as I get back in mid-June. Probably uh, do that, uh, I don't know, probably... Uh, I'm not sure. I'll have to look at the calendar, but we'll do that as soon as I get back in mid-June. We'll, we'll take care of that business, and you guys can see what the collection looks like. I will see what the collection looks like for the first time. Do not worry. I will, I'm very excited to do that, and I will be excited to get into it then. You guys have a great rest of your Monday, and I'll see you back here tomorrow. As always, happy collecting.